Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanermane456 here today. Going to be starting my Let's Play on Sonic 3 and Knuckles for the Sega Genesis. So as you all know, I've been doing the 2D classic Sonic games in the Sonic series, and today I'm going to be doing the third installment in the trilogy, and here it is. But before I actually do get on into this Let's Play, I just wanted to clear some things first off. So. This is a Let's Play, so it's going to have live commentary in it, so if you're not particularly fond of live commentary, I do suggest clicking off this video and looking up another video on YouTube. And uh, also, um, just to let you all know, I'm actually going to be playing this on an emulator for quality purposes, and I will be using save states. And the only reason why I'm actually using save states is for the Let's Play purpose, because... Basically, I want to be able to show off the uh, special stages and uh, how to basically get the Chaos and Super Emeralds in this game, but considering how the special stages and 2D Sonic games in the past have been very, very unforgiving, I have decided that I'm actually going to use save states, you know, so that if I do fail, I can restart and then show you exactly how to beat the special stage, which I feel is the best way to kind of do for, um, you know, games like this. But anyway, uh, yeah, now that I kind of cleared that up, now we can go on and hop into this game right here. So very, very excited about doing this Let's Play because this is actually my favorite Sonic game in the uh, Sonic series. In fact, actually it's my favorite video game of all time. It's just been one of my childhood favorites and, you know, I haven't really played a game that has really topped the experience I've had with this game when I was a child and to this day. So, anyway, uh, if you actually play this game, you know, Sonic 3, without Sonic 3 and Knuckles, you have the option of playing with Sonic and Tails together, Sonic Alone, or Tails Alone. But because this game combines Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles into one game, you have the option of playing as Knuckles right here. But for this Let's Play, I'm going to be playing with Sonic and Tails only, so let's go! Here we are on the opening cutscene right here with Sonic continuing his adventures after Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Holy crap, it's freaking Knuckles! Ah, dude, he took all our Chaos Emeralds! Alright, time to go chase after that douchebag. Anyway, here we are on the first zone in this game, and this is Angel Island Zone. So, uh, really not one of my favorite stages in this game, in fact, it's actually one of my least favorite stages in this game, but I must give it some credit because this is actually one of the only 2D Sonic's, um, you know, opening stages that doesn't look similar to the others, to where Sonic 1 had um, Green Hill Zone, Sonic 2 had Emerald Hill Zone, and uh, Sonic CD out Palm Tree Panic, and they all looked very similar. Anyway, first off, right here, we're going to be going into the first special stage right here, and here it is. So, basically what you have to do right here is collect all the blue spheres, collect all the blue spheres, and you get all the chaos emeralds. Pretty simple, uh, you know, method right here, but if you do touch a red sphere during these special stage missions, you will be knocked out of the special stage, and uh, you basically lose your chance of getting uh, the Chaos Emerald right there. So make sure that you are very careful on these, because they can get very difficult right now. It's not really too bad for me, but um, later on into the stages they do speed up, and that's when it can get really hectic and uh, throw you off. In fact, when I was younger, actually, this um, special stage really, really messed with my eyes because, as you can see, whenever you turn directions, uh, basically the camera swivels really fast. And I believe back then, a couple of people, I'm not sure if these were rumors or not, but I believe a couple of people actually had, like, seizures or something due to, like, how fast sometimes, you know, the camera angle would switch around here. But I'm not too sure about that. Anyway, though... There we go. Got the first Chaos Emerald, and we got a perfect right there, so we were awarded with uh, 50,000 points, which basically gives us a continue. Now, continues in this game basically lets you continue from right off where you died if you lose all your lives, but uh, considering this game has a save you know, feature, I really don't see the point of it too much. But anyway, there we go. So just to let you all know in this first part, I may actually talk a lot because there is so much I want to talk about with this game and so much stuff in this game that I actually do want to cover, so 
Plus, not only that, okay, will you freaking grab onto the thing already? Thank you. Also, not only that, there is the possibility of getting four Chaos Emeralds in this first zone, so I'm gonna actually try and uh, see if I can get all four of them in this video so that, uh, you know, I can get as many as I possibly can. Anyway, right here, just wait. Dang it, I can't get up there. Put the balls, okay. Um, if you actually spin dash up here, let's see. I believe there's some way to get up there. Let's try this. Here we go. There we go. That's more like it. All right. Okay, now just spin dash over here and get yourself a one up. Anyway, if we uh, skadoosh right through this little tree right there, we can run up it, and here we are about to face off against the first mini boss. All right. So basically, attack him right here. And oh no! Freaking made a forest fire and it's just like burned Angel Island Zone. Look at this, it's just in flames. It's terrible. Anyway, uh, come down right here. And we will go to the next special stage right here. And that is special stage two to get the second Chaos Emerald. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, let me know in the comments below which favorite, um, which special stage out of the 2D Sonic games is uh, your favorite. Do you like Sonic 1? Do you like Sonic 2? Do you like Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Or do you like Sonic CD? Or actually, do you like Sonic 4? I know um, some people may not consider that part of the 2D Sonic games, like Trilogy and stuff like that. And me, personally, I kind of sometimes keep it out of the, you know, like, main trilogy, Sonic 1, 2, and 3, but, you know... Let me know if you like that, uh, game special stages. I don't know, I just feel like this, like, these special stages, there's a good balance between difficulty, you know, there's a lot of speed around here. Oh god, be, please be careful around here. Um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, speed around here, and, uh, you know, you don't really have to be too concerned about, you know, too many cheap deaths or anything like that due to tails, which is one reason why I loathed Sonic 2 so much. See, where are we supposed to go here? Oh! Just trips you out so much, like, seriously, just tripping balls, and you gotta collect balls all over the place around here. It's craziness. Alright, I think this is the final stretch right here. Let's go! Let's go! There we go! Got the second Chaos Emerald. So yeah, there are only two chaos, um, there are actually only two big rings per each act, so you can only collect four chaos emeralds per each zone, so that's what I'm going to try and go for for in the first two zones. So we can actually get all the chaos emeralds early in the beginning of the game. One thing that I did want to talk about actually is uh, a new moveset that Sonic actually has in this game, so... If you see right here, um, if you press the A button twice, Sonic does this little attack right here that basically kind of has like a little ring of energy around him. That move is called the uh, Temporary Shield, where basically Sonic can be invincible for a second right there. See right there? Well, not even a second, just for like a you know, split second. And uh, most people actually say this move is very, very useless, but in fact it is one of the most useful moves. Um, out of the characters. I know a lot of people like Tails flying and Knuckles gliding, but I like Sonic's temporary shield because if you actually land on any enemy while you're doing this attack right here, if you do the temporary shield right when you land on them, you will not get harmed, even if you hit a spike ball. So it's uh, very, very good to, um, you know, that attack is very, very useful and definitely recommend uh, taking advantage of it. But another thing about playing with Sonic is that he has the ability to take advantage of the powers in the uh, in these um, special uh, like shields right here, elemental shields. This one right here is a lightning shield, which allows him to do a double jump and protects him from electric attacks. This is a fire shield, which basically protects him from fire attacks, and he can do a fire dash right here. So see right here, this boss is all about fire right here. He can't even harm us because. Sonic has the fire shield on, and because he has the fire shield on, basically can't harm, you know, harm you. Anyway, there we go, we beat the stage right there. Oh, dang it! No, no, I did not mean to do that at all. <laughs> oh, what a waste of invincibility, man. That was completely on accident. In fact, I've never gotten invincibility right there. 
Anyway, here we are going to Act 2. Skadoosh! And here we are going into the third Chaos Emerald uh, Special Sage. Now this one right here I actually like a lot because uh, this one actually is kind of easy. So, Plus I like the color palette around here. It's like not really the green hill zone kind of like checkerboard color, but it's actually like the lighter, you know, just a lighter look. It looks interesting. But yeah, I don't know. I just really love this game. I remember when I actually played this game a long, 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 long time ago um, on the Sega Genesis back then, on my cousin's Sega Genesis, because I actually never did own a Sega Genesis. And then when I actually got it on the uh, Sonic Mega Collection, um, when I got my Nintendo GameCube for Christmas, um, when the GameCube actually came out, I was just freaking super excited about this game because I was like, alright, what I need to do is basically unlock Knuckles and stuff like that, then, you know, like the Sonic 3 and Knuckles, you know, little, I can't recall what it's called, like expansion pack or something, and, you know, the Mega Collection, and... Oh, once I did, I was just like so freaking happy. It was like, I don't even know. <laughs> but I just remember back then, you know, how I really, really loved this game and just played it so much. In fact, I played, I played Sonic Hurry and Knuckles on my GameCube more than I played any of the new games I actually got on my GameCube when I first got the GameCube um, on that Christmas. It's kind of funny, actually. Anyway, uh. Alright, I need to figure out where exactly the final one is. I'm pretty sure I remember, actually. But right here, here's the bubble shield. Basically, this shield lets you kind of like, do bounce right here. And then not only that, you can actually stay underwater infinitely because the bubble shield actually lets you breathe. So you don't have to be concerned about drowning with Sonic as uh, you have had to in the, the previous Sonic games where you have to rush getting a bubble. Actually, what I'm gonna do is come through this way right here. Here we go. Whee! All right, so I hit the switch right there, and that lowers the water. So now we can actually come down here. Yeah, I don't know. I've like, oh, what the heck? Okay, screw you, dude. Like, I've always like, I, you know, I've liked Sonic 2 and I've liked Sonic uh, CD and all that stuff, but I just don't really view those games as the best games out of the series. And wow, I'm getting super gayed up right here. All right, so let's go ahead and get those rings right there. Or bubble shield. All right, uh, if we actually come right here, dang! All right, okay, don't get yourself hurt right there. All right, nice. Dang! I keep forgetting about that enemy right there. Alright, did he? Oh, look at Tails! Look at Tails balling around here, actually taking out the enemy. Okay, now if you come right here, Spin Dash, come in here, there's the fourth Chaos Emeralds location, and the final one. Okay, but one thing I'm going to say right now is right off the bat, come over this way, get those blue spheres right there. If you don't get those at the beginning of the stage, they are going to be incredibly hard to get because you see those little white things in this stage. They're bumpers basically that bump you backwards. So if you mistime your jump in any way, it'll basically bump you into the red sphere and you lose your chance of getting the Chaos Emerald. So please, please, I beg you, do just make sure to go get that first off if you are, you know, trying to get the Chaos Emerald. Anyway, just be careful around here. To be honest, the first seven Chaos Emerald stages really aren't that hard at all. I keep saying Chaos Emerald stages, I mean special stages. The first seven special stages really aren't that difficult at all. It's mostly the Super Emerald uh, special stages that are really, really difficult, which is why I feel I should use save states, because I'm very, very concerned about doing those. But anyway, there we go. Got ourselves the fourth Chaos Emerald. And we are done collecting Chaos Emeralds in this uh, zone right here, so we just kind of go through the rest of the stage. Just spin dash up here. One thing I must say though is that, as I've said, you know, a lot of times in, you know, previous LPs and all, Tails is stupid, stupid sidekick Fox. 
that really, you know, lots of times deserves to die in areas and, you know, just fail a lot. He's actually not that bad in this game. He is, in fact, very useful, and uh, he was actually a lot of fun to play with when I was younger. Uh, when I did... Oh, dang! Whoa! Holy crap, man. When I, uh... Though, I would usually play him a lot, um, you know, back then, actually, because of his flight ability. So, we'll give him props there. Anyway, though, now it's time to run! Let's go! Oh, yeah, one thing, I really do love the cinematic scenes right here, because, uh, you know, I think that was one really big leap for, you know, like, games back then, especially for a 2D Sonic game to do that. And look at Tails just getting nuked. Like, stupid, stupid fox he is. Look at that. Just getting a drone strike on him. Thanks, Obama. <sighs> anyway, just keep coming forward right here. Yeah, as I was saying, you know, in fact, one, I think, actual fun fact, I'm not really too sure, I may be wrong, so if I am wrong, correct me in the comments below, but I believe this is the only Sonic game, besides Sonic Unleashed, that actually had Super Sonic, um, you know, basically in the opening cutscene. If I am wrong, let me know in the comments below, but uh, from what I know, he this is the actual, like, only game besides Sonic Unleashed that had Super Sonic in the opening cutscene. Anyway, hit the capsule right there after defeating Eggman, which was such a piece of cake, we couldn't really even talk about the boss. <laughs> oh god. And there we go, so now we're gonna... Freaking Knuckles! You get back here! No! Alright. So, I guess that basically does it for this video, so what will happen in the next episode? Find out in part 2. But until then, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, it helps out a ton. And, uh, yeah, hope you all really, really enjoyed the LP, and, um, well, enjoyed the start of this Let's Play, and, uh, hope you all are excited for the rest of the Let's Play. And, uh, next time we will be going to Hydra City Zone, which is my favorite stage in all of the Sonic series, so I'm probably just gonna be flipping out so much whenever we get to that stage. But anyway, um, yeah, so I guess that does it for this video. Um, enough of my rambling. If you did enjoy it, like I said, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And until next time, uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Cobanermites.